The second level of kinship is totems. Each person has at least four totems, which represent their nation, clan and family group. And individuals are also given a personal totem, which recognises their strengths and weaknesses. Totems are placed within each half of the moiety, ensuring that everyone has a responsibility to conserve the environment and each person is accountable for their own totem. It is about creating a balance. So on one side of the moiety, you may have grey kangaroo and on the other side, you may have red kangaroo. So while one group conserves and protects the animal, the other may eat and use the animal. This creates a balance of use and protection and acknowledges that people need to eat. Each totem has a different purpose and meaning. So for instance, emu people are required to learn and teach others about the emu environment and breeding cycles. So if someone raids a nest and hinders reproduction, it's the emu people who are held accountable for their particular totem. Totems link a person to the universe. It links us to land, air, water and geographical features. The totem doesn't give you um, total ownership, as in, this is mine, I own it, but rather that this is your responsibility in your lifetime to make sure you do the right thing and then pass it on to the next generation. Nation, clan and family totems are actually preordained. The Raju Nation totem is the Guga, one of those really big um, lizards with the black and gold speckled skin. Absolutely beautiful. Clan groups have their own identifiers. So I'm from Dubbo. The Dubbo Gar people, their totem is the Willay, which is the brush-tailed possum. Then if I say to you, I'm a grey kangaroo, you would say, oh, so you're a Riley from Dubbo, are you? Because the third totem tells you what your bloodline is. So I've got seven kids. They're all Guga, Willay, Grey Kangaroo, and then they've got their individual identities. People will know who a child is before they're born. And so that child will have an identity. Uh, and it's really comforting, I think, in many ways, because you know who your child is and the strengths that they will have. But as they grow, they will um, obviously um, have their own particular talents and skills, and we'll be watching for those. The individual totem will be assigned to you by elders in your community. So you could get your totem at any particular time. It might be really obvious when the child's little who they are. Their identity is really obvious. And then sometimes you may not get it until you're quite old. I didn't get mine until I was, you know, quite old. Mine's the koala. And they've told me that that's because, you know, watch out for me as well, because I've got sharp claws. Yeah.